Hey what's happening everyone, I am Sir James from GamerFusion.com and today I'm super excited because I now finally own a Nintendo Wii U. And the reason why I waited so long to get one of these was because of two main reasons. The first one was because I wanted to wait until more and more games got released, so that way eventually if I happen to get one for a good deal, there'll be plenty of games for me to enjoy which is why now's the perfect opportunity. And the second reason was of course waiting for the right moment. I managed to get the Wii U for a really good deal which I'll go over in just a second, and of course over the past weekend GameStop had a buy to get one free which is why I have a stack of Wii U games, but I'll share that towards the end of this video so we could focus on the console first. Now as for the Wii U itself, on GameStop's website there was actually a little bit of a price glitch if you will, where this was marked down for $150 brand new when it was supposed to be $173. Of course eventually it did go through for that price tag, of course with tax and shipping came out to be like 170 something and this is the 8 gigabyte model that actually comes bundled with Skylander Swap Force however since I already own Skylander Swap Force I'm actually going to be donating the Skylanders content within the box to the nearest children's hospital because I know they have a Wii U so hopefully they'll get to enjoy their new game as for me I'll be keeping the system for myself so anyways here is the box right here that is what it looks like. You can't really find these models in store anymore because I know these were really popular back in the day. And of course, what's uh, different about this one compared to some of the other um, Skylander startups, if you will, this actually comes with a variant uh, exclusive to this set, which you could actually find on eBay for like anywhere between $8 to $15, uh, which is a variant of a uh, wash buckler here. But like I said, I'm going to be donating the Skylanders content within this box to a children's hospital, so I don't really need to worry about it too much. So right off the bat, you do get your copy of the game, which is included, and of course it is not sealed. Next up, the other contents in which you get, as I stated, I'm going to be donating this. Um, you get the, the whole starter pack. You get the variant of Wash Buckler, which you guys will see close up. You also get uh, Stealth Elf, and you also have... Um, I forget the other guy's name, he's like Grenade or something like that. Of course you get your portal power. Basically anything and everything that you need to get started right out of the way outside of the box. So I'm going to go ahead and put this content off to the side. To get to the other box here which will contain the console itself. It's actually a lot heavier than I thought. And this is just a empty piece of board. So here we go, here's the Wii U. Fortunately this has no markings on the box. Very disappointing. I'm just kind of messing around there. So we open this up, and we have two trays, kind of like the original Wii, because back then I did have the uh, the original Wii, just haven't had the Wii U until now. And I think I just cut myself. <laughs> there we go. Good way to start the video, bleeding with purpose. So the first one, we actually do get a copy of Nintendo Land, so that's another game I could add to my collection right there. I'll have to check that out. It's the, of course, important system update. More than likely, I'm probably going to have a crap load of updates before I even get to use the thing. Extremely thick booklet from Nintendo. They tend to kind of give you these large booklets every time you get something from them. You also have your power brick. And uh, this one is... Let's see, this one's the power brick, so I'm assuming this would be for the Wii U gamepad. So, more than likely... Uh, I might have gotten that mixed up, who knows. And then let's see what else we have here. Of course we also have our little bar here. This uh, this is actually exactly like the Wii version. Go ahead and just open this up anyways. I mean I'm pretty sure most of you have seen Wii U unboxings by now. I mean it's not really a, a brand new system. So of course this will be used with the uh, the Wii U uh, gamepad and remote and stuff like that depending on the initial game. So there you guys go, there's that little bar right there, simple and of course I think there's actually a couple of adhesive pads that you can do, kind of stick it on top of your TV or below depending on where you want it. And of course since uh, the Wii U is an upgrade from the Wii, that actually uses HDMI. Awesome stuff. And of course, in the other box will contain the main items. 
the console, the gamepad, and maybe something extra. Don't really know. Now the reason why I wanted to get this bundle specifically, to be honest, was because um, I didn't like the glossiness of the black Wii U gamepad because the glossy products always tend to bother me so much and I prefer a non-glossy finish. I mean, if the console wants to have a glossy finish, I have no problems with that, but if it's something you're going to have in your hands, I prefer non-glossy. So we're going to go ahead and start with the Wii U gamepad. And I really like the gamepad. I mean, it feels really comfortable in the palm of the hands. And I really like the uh, innovation that it includes, you know, being able to manage uh, inventories and stuff without actually having to pause your game like some of the other games that we may play on other platforms. And of course, the ability to press this little button here to kind of take what's on screen and to play it just on this gamepad, I thought was pretty cool. So overall, I mean, it does have a little bit of a glossy finish, but because this is the white model, it's not really going to show up as bad. Of course, um, you know, buttons work, you have your triggers in the back, volume controls up here. So yes, that one cable that I wasn't sure what it was for was actually for this right here. Uh, simple as that. I actually do have some accessories because um, about a year ago, Toys R Us had like a clearance thing on Wii U accessories. So I got a bunch of few things. So that way, eventually, if I got a Wii U, I would have something for it. So I do have a casing and stuff. And I think I have a screen protector somewhere. I'm going to have to find it. So that is the Wii U gamepad. Pretty cool. And I'm trying to remember because I think there was a stylus. Here it is. The stylus is actually on the very top here. So there's that. It's actually a lot lighter than I thought it was going to be. Then of course we also have the console itself. Now there's uh, two different bundles that actually came out when the Wii U first launched. You had the white version here and there's the deluxe edition which came with, uh, I believe that one came with the Nintendo Lands. You also get a cradle to stand up the Wii U if you want to stand it at hallways instead of sideways. Um, but yeah, here it is. You could flip this down. This will contain um, an SD card slot. Since this is an 8 gigabyte model, I'm going to need to expand the storage, which of course I have plenty of extra memory. You do have two USB slots, power eject. So really cool. Why am I getting messages constantly? Oh my gosh. <laughs> and of course you have all your connections in the back, uh, AV, HDMI, sensor bar, uh, AC adapter, and you have two more USBs in the back here. Actually, maybe these aren't USBs up here. No, yeah, these are USB, so there's a total of four USB connections. So as simple as that. And um, I know this is kind of not professional, but let's go ahead and check the little messages here. And that is GameStop confirming that my package arrived, even though they're like literally two hours late of the notification. So anyways, there it is. Like I said, the white Wii U console itself. It's a little bit of a glossy finish, but not as bad if you were to get the black model course the Wii U gamepad which comes with a copy of Nintendo Lands and like I said this one came with the Skylander Swap Force which I'm going to be donating so I figured for the extra portion of the video I want to go ahead and share with you guys the games I got and during this moment if you have any recommendations or maybe your top five that you want to name feel free to let me know in the comment section down below now the first one that we have here, this is The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. A little bit of a fun fact about me in regards to Zelda games, there's only three that I have yet to play. Twilight Princess, Wind Waker, and Majora's Mask. So I picked this up yesterday because there was only a couple left at my local GameStop, and I wanted to get this because one, I haven't played the title, and of course this one actually comes bundled with the Wolf Link Amiibo, which I thought was pretty cool. It actually gives you some extra bonuses and extras for the missions, and if you have any of the other Zelda Amiibos, you could actually use them in the game, uh, which kind of goes over that information right here. And of course, there's the game. So, so many boxes in the way. So that's the first game that I have. Of course, we have Nintendo Lands, which was included with this bundle here. The next game, of course, is Xenoblade Chronicles X. Can't wait to play this one. I remember playing the original one on the Wii and, of course, the 3DS version, which the 3DS version, actually, my bad, the new 3DS version, I should say, because it's only compatible with that one it was actually pretty good though some of the the quality like when everything's bundled together was a little bit hard to see but fun title you should definitely check out the original if you have yet to do so uh, really looking forward to that one because this one I'm going to be playing right now actually as soon as I'm done updating next up is a Bayonetta 2 this one has a lot of positive reviews so of course had to pick that up 
I do love me some Star Fox, so we have the Star Fox Zero here. And of course, another game I love is Monster Hunter, so Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate for the Wii U. And these are a little bit of extras. These are games of which I've already played on other platforms like PlayStation, Xbox, or even PC. But the reason why I got these was because, again, there was the buy two, get one free deal. And these were relatively inexpensive anyways. These were like basically under $12 each. And those games are the Mass Effect 3 Special Edition. Which I heard that they incorporated something a little bit different since Mass Effect 1 and 2 aren't on the Wii U. They did like this comic book style based on some of the videos that I've seen, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, next up is the Splinter Cell Blacklist. I was looking up videos for this, and I really had an interest of what they did with the Wii U gamepad and the mechanics that they incorporated with it. Of course, Darksiders 2. If you haven't played Darksiders 2, I mean the, the definitive edition is already out. Recommend the title. And last but not least, Assassin's Creed 3. Do you love me some Assassin's Creed? But that's pretty much about it. So those are the games in which I got, the system itself, all the cables. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is kind of cut this video short. Actually, it's not really that short anyways. But I'm going to go ahead and um, hook this up, set up my profile, and of course begin my adventures within Xenoblade Chronicles X. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll see you guys next time.